We we'll just get set to introduce our officials. The usual Michael Whelan from Canada, Cristiano Mourinho from Brazil, and Andreas Gaston Bartel Maina from Uruguay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're very proud to say we have some of the finest officials here in world basketball. They've done an excellent job in all of our competitions, and they will continue to do so here tonight in the semifinal stage of Liga de las Americas. Well, look out, look out for the likes of Dar Tucker, and as we already mentioned, Matias Calfani and Marcos Mata. Nicholas Aguirre also making the lineup. Maximo Fellerip also coming off the bench. Playing some good minutes so far for San Lorenzo. Well, they're starting lineup tonight. We can see Aguirre, Mata, Tucker, Calfani, and Jerome Mainte all in the starting lineup. Probably been the most exciting team to watch here this season. And they'll be looking for a repeat here in Liga de las Americas. Well, Victor Rudd and Andre Emmett have really been their best players. Emmett's averaging 26 points per game, while Holman also averaging 19. Well, Rudd just chipping in that 13 points. Clemente leading their assist right now. We will probably see him in the starting lineup as Dennis is playing the point guard role. He'll be partnered alongside Andre Emmett, Victor Rudd, Joan Villegas, and Carlos Lopez all make the starting lineup. He's got one championship to his name already, Gonzalo Garcia. And again, he'll be looking for the repeat. They are down a few players. That no won't stop them. Well, Rafael Cruz Lopez, who have seen last night, was a huge disappointment. And again, he's only made the situation more difficult as they must win here tonight. Remember, Guaras de Lara came up with a big victory, so they are 2 0. And the last thing that Capitan Zarecibo need is for San Lorenzo to go 2 0, which would mean both teams go through. Both coaches now just exchange honors with each other, pay the homage, give each other the accolades. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are literally two and a half minutes away from tip-off for this final game here of game day two, the semi-final stage of Liga de las Americas. Donald Sims had some very big performances for San Lorenzo. And again, if he gets off the mark and starts shooting the ball well, along with Marcos Mata, it could be a long night for Capitanos de Arecibo. Come on. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here in Buenos Aires. It is a second game here of game day two for well, the semifinal stage here of Liga de las Americas. Don't go anywhere as we're set for tip. It is now the host, San Lorenzo de Magro, the champions of last year, as they take on the boys from Puerto Rico. Capitan is to Arecibo. The players shake hands with the officials. They give each other the accolades. But we're set now. The ball is underway. The officials ready. Both teams are going to get this one going. What well, is the voice from Puerto Rico who get the first possession of the game? We get the ball in the corner now and again. It's just trying to find those penetrations in the gaps early. Steps back, takes an early three, puts it up. And it's nothing but net. We'll talk about getting a tough shot off. And that is number three, Victor Rudd. He gets Kevin Downs to Arecibo off the mark. Guire in the lane kicks out. Now they're playing a 2 3 zone out. Do you want to play that against a team like San Lorenzo as Marcos Mata six it from downtown? Well, coming out and playing a 2 3 zone against a team like San Lorenzo, very risky option. Four on the shot clock now. He's got to get something going. Gets him up in the air. Better contact. Well, great defense by Mainsay. And it's a 24-second violation. Well, Bennett unable to get the shot off. But that's the first turnover of the game. And uh, Tucker now pulls it from the trigger. And again, 2-3 zone. Are you serious? Against San Lorenzo, Del Magro, the champions? Emmett now crosses over, wants to take Matter in the low block, backs down, puts up a jump hook, fades away, can't get it. Rebound by Da Tucker. Well, transition gets in, made say, made say, finishes it off. The assist coming from Marcos Matter. And the assist was from Matias Calfani, sorry. Rudd tries another three, pulls the trigger, hits the front rim, doesn't get it. And now Dot Tucker with a rebound. Down low to Mainsay. Mainsay, same result. Just too big, just too strong, just too good. Well, Capitano Sarasibo want to come out and play a 2-3 zone against a team that's going to move the ball, get open looks. Well, that's what you're going to do. You're going to punish yourself. Well, 
Well, Dar Tucker just splashing the cash early on here. You want to play, you want to leave wide open and just spot mates in the low block. Just simple basketball. Well, they go down a little the big man now, gets a pump fake, gets Mainsay, steps across, bit of contact, offensive rebound. And an offensive foul's been called. Well, it's tough, I'd have to see the replay on that one, but they've called it on Carlos Lopez. Tucker takes it in with his left, makes a bit of contact, tries to shoot off the backboard, doesn't get it. He comes up with a loose ball. John Tucker, well, Calfani. Well, Calfani's got to shoot it, forces up a three-pointer way off the mark. And that goes out of bounds. comes the pick on the ball they get the roll off it takes a three in the corner a little bit short unable to get it McGuire now comes up with a loose ball why dish off to Calfani kicks out to Mata and now Calfani kicks out to Mata Mata takes it in with his right bit of contact fades away out of bounds can't get it and another foul has been caught on Lopez it looks like it I have to see the replay again on that one, but well, there's the shot. Dish off to Tucker. Tucker now in the lane of Calfani. Calfani goes up with a jump hook. Too easy in the low block. Defense by Capitanis. That receiver needs to be more aggressive. Looks like a foul's been called on Matias Calfani this time as he holds on to Lopez. Evan now on the ball, guided heavily by Marcos Mata. Crosses over, bumps in, dishes it off under the post wall, can't finish it. Can't come up with an offensive rebound. Now Dar Tucker in transition. Well, Tucker gets the pass back after almost turning it over. Dish off the main state. Main state spins in and around. Off to Dar Tucker. Dar Tucker goes up with it. Doesn't get it. Gets another rebound. Dar Tucker can't put it back. And now Capitanes just survive a little scare in the low block. Shakes back, takes a three, way off the mark. Done a little main say. Kicks out to Matt, a good ball movement. Da Tucker's made one three, takes another one. Da Tucker, nothing but net. Same result, same spot. See now pitch San Lorenzo de Magro up by 12. Four on the shot clock now. He's got to go all the way to the basket. Takes a layup. Gets a foul. Doesn't get the out one, but he's going to go to the free throw line now for two shots. Well, good ball movement. Dot Tucker. Same. Gets the pesos out. Gets the check bout. The bank is open. It's all cash money right now here in Buenos Aires. Well, this man's jump shot is just too beautiful.
Well, and it makes the first free throw. Makes it two for two from the stripe. Again, if they're going to come back in this game, he's got to come to life tonight, that's for sure. Matthew gives up the main save. Main save gets the foul. Gets the M1. And now he's going to go to the free throw line for two shots. Nice little run to that from Marcos Mata and Jerome Mainsight. Simple bounce pass. Just able to hold on to it and get the M1. He makes a three-point play. Now he moves up to seven points already here in the first quarter. Pulls up from 18 feet, way off the mark. Air balls it with the shooting. Not too impressive right now. From Capitan Sarasibo. Close the screen now. Mata in the lane. Kicks out in the corner. Calfani. Good ball movement. Tucker for a third three. Can't get this one. And now they can push in transition. And gets a bump. Doesn't get a foul called. Throws it down low. Down the middle, throws up a teardrop, can't get it. Lopez battling for an offensive rebound. Will he keep it alive? It just goes out of bounds there from the reach in from Nicholas Aguirre. Will he turn it over? Sloppy play. Again, everything just a little too slow by Capitan. He's got to pick himself up, play with a bit more insurgency. Matt's in the lane, main save, mid of contact. And again, this man just can't be stopped. It's going to be a timeout now. So Capitan is there, Recibo. San Lorenzo and Margaret have 10 points inside the paint. And again, it's just getting that little ball inside to Mainsay. The penetration is a little love pass. And now, Capitan's there receiver just can't stop it. Comes off the screen now, takes it in the middle, bumps in the lane, just kisses it off the glass. And that's a lot better now as Gilda just took it in the lane. And Trey Gilda just checking into the game. Gets his first two points. He has one rebound already as well. Underneath the basket, made say with a throwdown. And he is just unstoppable already. 11 points here in the first quarter. Everything's going through him. Down the middle, look for the curl. Lopez, got to go up with it. Well, 
completely throws it away. Sloppy play. Cross court. Aguirre spots out to Tucker. And it is too easy right now for San Lorenzo. The champions just running wild here all over Capitan de Arecibo. Down the middle, tries to fade away again, and he gets it to drop. Tough shot. And that is number 30, Christian Pizarro. In the lane now, tries to dish it off, and offensive foul called. Well, that's an interesting one, because if you look at it, he wasn't actually, he was inside the semicircle, so I have to question how that was called as a charge. Again, what a pass by Aguirre. Wait, turn it over now. It's a three on two. He's got Matter to the right. Dot Tucker. Well, just gets a little strip. Unable to finish it. Tucker now goes baseline, dish off the main say. Main say, will he miss a dunk? Gets so rebound, but he goes back up with it, and he doesn't give up on it. And he now moves to 13 with under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Down the lane, pick and roll now. Lopez got to go up with it. Off the backboard, can't get it. And now San Lorenzo can push. Well, he's got Darquavis Tucker. Tucker for third three of the night. Can't get it. The give and go play wasn't available. Crosses over. Tries to dish off to Lopez. Got to shoot it. Well, throws it to Lopez. Lopez got to throw one up. Hits the side of the backboard. 24 second violation. And right now, Capitan Zarecibo just can't get a shot off. Joel Anthony's going to come in the game along with Donald Sims. And just li listen to the fans as they applaud uh, Tucker as he comes out of the game. Matta now curls it. Marcos Matta draws the foul. And now he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. Makes the first free throw, and again, you got to be so impressed. San Lorenzo, Del Magro, still be where they are. They lost the MVP last year in this tournament as he went on to Madrid to play in Europe. But again, they don't look weaker. They look, in fact, probably not play for player stronger, but they look more collectively stronger. Gets a second free throw and he makes it now to a 19 point ball game. He tries a Euro step, gets rejected. Joel Anthony said, Not in my house. Aguirre puts behind his back. And now Calfani, loose ball. Donald Sims in the corner, back to Sims, pulls the trigger, doesn't get it. Pulls up for three in transition. It's nothing but net. Six it from downtown. That is number 25, Ramon Cintron. Well, Matza turns it over. Careless ball. And now Capitanes Arecibo get the last shot. Cintron down the middle. Cintron kicks in the corner. They get a three-point shot off. The three's no good. Offensive rebound was well, got to go up with it. 
Well, what a rebound by Rakeem Christmas. Christmas just didn't go up with it. Oh, what a block by Joel Anthony. And there's a three ball from Cintron. We we'll begin the second quarter now. San Lorenzo leads this one by 16, 28 to 12. Well, Sim steps back for a deep, deep three in and out. Can't get it. Looking for options now. Has to kick it out. No one to really go to. Down the middle. Bounce pass. Another three in the corner. Three is up. The three is good. And again. That's all they're going for right now is Rudd is two for four from the perimeter. Feller comes off one screen. Kicks out to Mata. In the round, goes with a little teardrop, gets his own rebound. No one boxed him out. Well, gets rejected. Well, Rakeem Christmas just said, no, sir, not in my house. Well, again, it was just such a weak take as well, and it was just too easy of a block for Christmas. Nine on the shot clock now. They got to get something going to the basket. Down the middle, fades away, draws a foul. Wow. Poor defense by Christian Pizarro. Just bails out Aguirre. Aguirre wasn't really going anywhere. Now Nicholas Aguirre will shoot these two free throws. Well, he was very influential in their backcourt last season when they made it to the Final Four and became champions. But again, he's having to step up into a more leadership role this year. Again, without the likes of their MVP from last season, uh, making his way to Europe. Players like Aguirre, Calfani, Marcos Mata really have had to step up. Makes the first free throw. Makes it two for two from the stripe. Kills the screen now, makes a bit of contact, fades away out of bounds, and again, well, Christmas could have gone in with a tip back dunk, couldn't get it. Aguirre all the way to the basket, Aguirre gets fouled, and he's gonna go back to the free throw line for two shots. 
And San Lorenzo Del Magro are just killing them out on the fast break. And again, it's a bit of a weak foul to give away. Quiet makes the first free throw. LaGuardia Delara coaching staff just watching on. As they know tomorrow night they will be up against San Lorenzo de Magro. LaGuardia makes all four of his last four free throws. Don Lane now tries to get in and around him. Calfano's defense just too imposing. Comes off a screen with Anthony. Now Aguayo keeps it alive, kicks out the Feller. Feller takes a jump shot, doesn't get it. Aguayo with the offensive rebound, kicks it out. Donald Sims, third three, still can't hit it. Down the middle now, looking for options, and again, just able to keep it alive, but gets the foul called. The trip up is on Matias Calfani. Well, will be a baseline ball now to Capitanes. Guarded heavily by Aguayo now. Backs down. Got to get a shot off. We well, turn it over. And now Fellerov transition. Fellerov all the way with the throwdown. Completely uncontested. No effort to sprint back on defense. Pulls up for the jump shot now and missed a festive holidays. Christmas just sinks it. That's his first two points of the game. Now, he's one for two from the field. And Sims now on the ball, 0 for three from three point land. Doesn't want to shoot it. Guaya down the middle. Guaya goes up, missed the layup. All the way to the basket, kicks out. Another turnover. And now, Aguaya dish off the fella. He just turns it over now. It's a two on one. He's got to finish this one. Can't keep it under control. It's a hard screen. Doesn't get called for an offensive foul there. In the lane, puts up a teardrop, and he just gets it to go now as Rudd cuts it down to a 15 point ball game. Wyatt down the other end, fades away, way off the mark. One screen, gets him up in the end, a strong move, and all of a sudden, Capitanis Arecibo just making a little bit of a comeback. And it is now a 13-point ball game. Timeout to San Lorenzo. Te das el balón y 
y te venís a jugarle un hand-off. ¡Vamos! ¡El juega pop! ¡El juega pop ahí! ¡Vamos, sacamos! Maguire takes it in, gives up to Joel Anthony. Anthony gets rejected from behind. Or on the shot clock now, Aguirre has to force up a prayer, doesn't get it. Well, now Capitan is just chipping into his deficit. Emmett down low, gets him under the basket, got to go up and it finishes strong underneath. Well, what a play there by Angel Matias. Cuts it down now to an 11 point ball game. Capitan is just starting to believe in themselves a little bit more. Being very stubborn, making life difficult for San Lorenzo. As Fowler comes out of the game. Well, that will probably be the answer now for San Lorenzo. Darquavis Tucker. Well, what is the matter? It is Marcos' matter. We'll turnover now. Aguirre down the lane, kicks out. Mats it down the middle, back to Aguirre. Doesn't take the three-point, it goes baseline. Dish off to Mata, gets fouled. Now Marcos' matter is going to go to the free throw line for two shots. Well, Marcos Mata doesn't shoot a lot of long-range jump shots, but when he does, that is the answer. You'll get nothing but net. Makes the first free throw. He now moves up to eight points. He's three for three from the free throw line already. And again, one of the more versatile, dynamic basketball players you'll see here in world basketball, let alone South America. Marcos Mata, regular feature for his national team in the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. Goes out of bounds. There's another turnover on Christmas. Tucker down the middle now. Tucker makes a bit of contact off the backboard. Can't get it. Takes in the lane now. Bit of contact. Gets rejected. Well, Mainsay said not in my house. It's a two-on-one. Back to Tucker. This shit off Phil Doza. Marcos Mata gets fouled. And he'll go to the free throw line now for two shots. 
Well, it all starts with Say goes up. He says, not in my house. No in Mikasa. Well, look at this for a fast break. the first free throw now he's shooting 100% from the free throw line and that's a stat of somebody who's going to lead his team to the championship Tries to curl the screen again on the floor, diving for it. Keeps alive, they turn it over now. Matza comes up with a loose ball. Dish off to Donald Sins into Mainsay. Mainsay kicks out, Vildoza wide open, three is up. Vildoza, nothing but net from downtown. And San Lorenzo de Margo lead this one by 20 points here in the first half. Well, San Lorenzo de Magro just simply fabulous to watch. I mean, they get out on the break, they share the ball. They're just simply a beautiful basketball team. Makes a bit of a bump, goes in the lane, doesn't get the foul called. Mainsay with a rebound. Mata just keeping it alive, gets a handoff with Donald Sims. Down a little to Marcos Mata, turning the shot clock. Mata goes baseline, kicks out, great pass, good ball movement. Vildoza back to Mata, got to get a shot off. Darquavis Tucker wide open for three. And Mainsay with the tip back, nobody boxed him out. Well, Coach Tentacle's been called now. Well, here's the penetration again. Look at this for ball movement. Penetration, kick out, reversal. Penetration again. Now, another kick out. Shot doesn't go in, but who's blocking out Matesay? Donald Sims makes the free throw. in his left, nowhere to go, off the back, but while tries to tip back, to get a rebound from 15 feet, shoots a shot, doesn't get it, get another rebound in the lane, they kick out, oh, Tuck, just able to get a hand to it, it goes out of bounds.
Backs down against Tucker. Gets a spinner on dish it off, and Lopez got to finish it. And Carlos Lopez gets his first two points of the game. Gets off to Sims now. Sims takes it in with his right, kicks out to Tucker. Tucker had the shot, goes in with a little teardrop, doesn't get it. Mainse with a tip back, he can't get it. And now Capitanes can push in transition. Down low, got to go up and off the backboard, beautifully laid up. And well, we got a timeout now to San Lorenzo, I think. No, sorry, stopping possession. Slight little wet spot on the floor. Doza now down low to Mainse. Mainse backs down. Mainse goes down the middle. Bit of a bump. Goes in the lane. Mainse is on a mission to be an MVP tonight. This guy's just simply fun to watch in the low block. Off the lane. Kicks it out now. Goes down low to the big fella. Lopez spins around. Puts up his jump hook. Can't get it. Tucker with a rebound. Vildoza comes off a screen, puts it behind his back down the middle. Vildoza goes in the lane off the backboard. Vildoza just kisses it off the glass. Kicks out now. He's wide open for three. Takes it, doesn't get it. Puts up a little teardrop off the backboard, can't get it. And now Sims in transition. Sims now hasn't made a three tonight. This time, sinks it from downtown. Donald Sims with the big three-pointer. That's his first field goal from the perimeter out of four attempts and puts him up by 26 points. And now Villegas can run this one down for the last shot of the quarter. Had the three, didn't go for it. The guy got a shot off. The foul's on the ground. And it's only a 13 foul. So now Capitanes Arecibo will get the ball sideline. Shot off at the end of the first half. And ladies and gentlemen, it is San Lorenzo de Magro 53. Capitan is our receiver 27. We will be back for the second half here in literally 15 minutes. So ladies and gentlemen, go get a drink, go get something to eat. And don't go anywhere too long, because we'll be back soon.
applauso para The Tango Company.
3 bajo y pulgar bajo. 3 bajo y pulgar bajo. ¡Eh, hey, vamos, vamos, vamos! ¡No tiro fácil, dale! ¡Vamos, vamos, vamos! ¡Un, dos, tres, tipo! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of this final game here at Group E of Game Day 2 between San Lorenzo de Magro, the champions of last season's League of the Americas, and Capitanes de Arecibo. Well, goes baseline, tries to spin around with a jump hook, and he gets it to go. Nothing but net. And it's a good look in the low block, and Sandman again, Everett. Well, they almost turn it over. Doc Quavis talking, keeps it alive. Bounce past the main say. Main say goes up with a monster dunk. Well, he has absolutely no regard for the defense, but what a dunk. Down the lane now, pulls up from 15 feet, in and out, can't get it. Calfani with a rebound. Main say keeps it alive, gives back to Aguirre. Aguirre kicks out to Mata. Well, Marcos Madden now, eight on the shot clock, gets a screen from Mainsay. In low, gets fouled. Tucker in the lane. Tucker goes up for the layup. Just too easy. Comes off a screen. Makes a bit of contact. And an offensive foul is called. Well, great defensive play by Maine. Says the offensive foul is called on Gilda. Mainsay spins, another big dunk! Well, this man is putting on a show in the low block. He is unstoppable. Well, they almost turned over to keep it alive. Mainsay with a bit of defense. Offensive rebound by Lopez, he gets fouled. And now Lopez. Gonna go to the free throw line for two shots. Well, he makes the free throw. He cuts it down now to a 28-point ball game.
He gives up to Aguaya. Now Aguaya wants to go pick and roll. And he draws a foul. And the foul there is going to look like it's on Dennis Clemente. Looking for a kick out and again. Tries to split the defense, kicks out. Mata wide open for three in the corner. In and out, doesn't get it. In the lane now, tries to spin around. Bit of contact, goes up, doesn't get it. Keep it alive and now Mata can break. Mata gives up to Calfani. Well, Calfani gets away with a travel. There's Sharp. Kravis Tucker gets him with a bit of contact, but he still finishes it. And Kravis Tucker just too strong. In the lane, can't get it. Now they can push with Da Tucker. Tucker gives up. Calfani goes up, gets blocked. And now Capitanis can break. Clemente off one screen in the middle, kicks out, doesn't take the three. Baseline, another kick out. Well, had the shot, but he's got to shoot it. And Calfani comes up with a steal. Well, they got numbers. He's got made say. Calfani all the way, reverse layup, gets the foul. And he'll go to the free throw line with two shots. Calfani makes the second free throw, puts him up by 31 points. And it is starting to be a blowout right now. Well, no movement off the ball right now. Nobody wants to come and get it. And steps out of bounds. Comes off one screen now. Mainsay in the lane. Mainsay kicks out. Calfani keeps it alive. Goes baseline. Dish it off. Well, Aguirre had the three. Gives up to Calfani. He's got to shoot it. Steps back. Forces up a long one. Doesn't get it. Well, gets it to drop it again. Just a bit of lackluster defense by San Lorenzo de Magro as Aguaya still has it. Kicks out to Mainsay for the jump shot. Mainsay sinks it. And this man is simply on fire right now with 23 points. A length for 14 from within the rainbow. Well, he airballs the jump shot, goes out of bounds, and it's another turnover.
Well, Joel Anthony's fouled now. He'll go to the free throw line for two shots. Well, John Anthony, not the greatest shooter on the court. And again, was really renowned for his hustle play and rebounding in the NBA when he played with the Miami Heat. He makes the second one and puts it back up to a 32-point ball game. It's a strong post move, and he goes up, and again, just not enough. And Joel Anthony catches it in transition. San Lorenzo de Magro wastes no time to get the ball up the court. Well, the shot's in the corner off the front rim, doesn't get it. It goes out of bounds, and it will be Capitana's ball. What a fast break, and Joel Anthony, what a job to catch it like a wide receiver in American football, but look at that for a pass from Nicholas Aguirre. Maguire wants to go pick and roll now in the lane. Dish off to Anthony. Anthony's got to keep it alive. He goes out of bounds, but it will go back now to San Lorenzo de Magro. Well, in the lane, doesn't get it. And now they can push. It was baseline, strong move, can't finish it, rebound by Calfani, cross-court pass, Aguirre keeps it alive, gives up to Tucker, can't finish it. Well, you thought they were going to make a great fast break there. Bumps in and around, goes up against Calfani, doesn't get it again. Tries to kill the rebound, but it does go out of bounds. Well, they look very calm, very relaxed as that team is up by 32 points. Well, Tucker gives it down low to Anthony. Anthony's got to go fades away out of bounds. He can't get it. Had the three now goes baseline and almost turns it over, but it goes baseline. Ball to Capitanis to Arecibo. Just give it a little pump fake, but a little touch there from Vildoza. Tucker now on the ball in the lane. Anthony offensive rebound goes up with a fadeaway off one leg. He can't get it. Almost coming to still Borva so they get a wide open three in the corner. The three is up. The three is tucked away. Well, it's a lot better Borva still there from Villegas. He's able to sink it.
Okay, I'll find it now. Cross court to Vildoz in the corner. Dartuck has made two threes tonight. Takes another one a little bit short. In the lane, fades away off one foot. Can't get it now with a minute and a half to go here in the third quarter. Kicks out to Vildoza. Now Vildoza's on the ball. Down low to Calfani. Calfani backs him down. Spins, goes left hood. Strong move. And one. Matias Calfani's going to go to the free throw line now to make a three-point play. Which is simply a strong post move. And the big man just going to work. Simply unstoppable Matias Calfani. Should be a retake of the free throw. He's an early entry there before he even release the ball. Well, just under a minute to go here in the third quarter. In the lane, takes a three. Anthony with a rebound. And now San Lorenzo can't push in transition. Sims comes off a screen. Bill Doza down to the right. Dish off to Anthony. Kick out. Tuck a good ball reversal. Sims now. He's got to shoot it. Sims forces up a prayer. Donald Sims almost got it. Dot Tucker with a rebound. Kicks out. Bill Doza. Another three. He can't get it. And he goes out of bounds. And it will be ball two. Capitan is De Arecibo. we we'll lead this one by 31 now with 19.8 to go here in the third quarter. And they'll dribble this one down now for the last shot. Doesn't use the screen now, takes him with his right, goes up with the layup, doesn't get it, but he gets fouled. And he will go to the free throw line now for two shots. He makes a second one, and it's a 30-point ball game. And with 2.9, Tucker throws up a prayer off the backboard. And at the end of the third quarter, San Lorenzo de Magro lead this one by 30 points. With one quarter to go here in the second day of the semifinal group here at Group E.
Well, really, I mean, this last quarter, when you're down by this much points and you got to win this game, you can only look down the run end. You got to finish with character now. Anthony to his right. Anthony, well, got to be an unsportsmanlike foul, surely. I mean, he played no attempt to get the ball whatsoever. Well, he just caught a regular foul, so it's going to be just two shots. I mean, if you look at this, fast break, Vildoza, no look pass. I mean, that to me is an unsportsmanlike foul. Well, it's now a 34 point lead. And San Lorenzo de Magra are really running away with this one. Six on the shot clock now. He's got to get something going in the lane. Goes up with it, avoids the block. Strong move going to the basket. We did so excellently there just to avoid getting blocked by Joel Anthony. Talking now on the ball, four on the shot clock. Got to get something going. Cross court, Sims has made one three, takes another one. Donald Sims from downtown puts him up by 35 points. And Donald Sims hit the clutch time three point in the corner. The assist from Doc Quavis Tucker. Puts it behind his back in the lane, nowhere to go. Dish it, got to finish it, goes up, no foul called, out of bounds. Another turnover. Well, look at that for a three from Donald Sims right at the end of the shot clock. Cash money. Sims off the screen. Dish off to Anthony. Anthony off the backboard. Just gets it to drop. Well, what a play. Crosses over now, a bit of contact. He goes up off the backboard, doesn't get it. Calfani just fumbles it out of bounds. Gets a shot off in the corner, in and out, tries to go for a tip back. Well, falls very awkwardly. And now San Lorenzo can push. They're up by 37. Calfani gets fouled. And he's going to go back to the free throw line now for two shots. Well, featured very regularly for the Uruguay national team in the FIBA World Cup qualifiers and will be very disappointed that they weren't able to come out with a victory going to the FIBA World Cup. But nonetheless, played very well over the 15, 15 months, sorry. Well, it's now a 38-point victory to San Lorenzo de Magro.
Lynn Lane kicks out, tries a three from downtown, doesn't get it. They get the offensive rebound down low, under the basket, has to finish it. Well, that is Rafael Perez now as he moves up to four points. Feller now pulls up the jump shot, doesn't get it, hits the back rim. Well, Anthony just throws Paris to the ground. I'm not sure Paris appreciated that one, but that was a complete rugby tackle, if you like. In the lane now, looking to dish it off, kicks it out, but he, no one to get the ball to, and it's another turnover. Well, that is the way this game is just going for them right now. I mean, there's not a lot going for Capitan Sarasibo. It's all San Lorenzo de Magro. Spins around now, Vildoza goes in with a finger roll, and it's almost a Manu ginobili style layup. And that is just simply unstoppable. In the lane, makes the layup. Puts it back to a 36-point ball game as Vildoza keeps it alive. Well, Sims for another three, doesn't get it. Down the middle now, tries to spin, has to kick it out. And again, nobody there, just passing the ball to the referee. Well, they got to be better than that. I mean, it's more or less mission impossible to come back, but you can't just throw the ball away when no one's there to receive it. Down the lane, Vildoza hangs in the air, puts it off the backboard, and again, just kiss the glass, and it's a 38-point victory. Well, he's having a great game tonight. Three through three from in the rainbow, and they sink a tray down the other end. Well, that is Andre Emmett. Sorry, Victor Rudd, who sinks the triple. Fades away in the post. Nothing but Nev. What a jump shot by Diego Logripo. He gets his first two points of the game. Puts it back to 37 point ball game. Well, had the three, didn't take it. This time he will. Rudd, cash and shoot from the perimeter. Nothing but net. Sinks another treble. And it's back to a 34 point ball game. He's now four for six from the perimeter. Well, Anthony under the basket with an easy duck. Backs in the low post, makes a bit of contact, goes up, and then Rudd gets fouled.
With two free throws now, will be shot by Ruzzi. Just took it in the lane, made a bit of contact, but with 4.08 to go, San Lorenzo de Magro look like they're going to be booking their ticket again to the Final Four. Sims now down the lane, dish off to Lagrippo. Lagrippo kicks out to Fellerup. Fellerup in the lane with a finger roll. A strong play by Fellerup. Well, the difference right now between San Lorenzo and any other team here in Liga dos Americas is that they share the basketball. Well, gets a jump shot from 18 feet, can't get it. Lagrippo with a rebound. Well, he makes a second one and puts it back up to a 37-point ball game. Now he's shooting really well from the free throw line tonight. Down the lane off the backboard. And again, half side defense. Just a little too slow to react there. But with three minutes to go, they still lead this one by 35 points. Under the basket now, he's got to get things going. Deep, deep three from center of the court, can't get it. Feller with a rebound. And a double dribble is called on Vildoz. He turns it up with 2.32 to go here in the fourth quarter. In the lane, takes a three-pointer, doesn't get it. Down low to Anthony. Anthony, low block, kicks out. Good ball movement. Legrippo takes him with his left. He's got a wide open feller up to the side. But Vildoza will launch a prayer, doesn't get it. Offensive rebound by Christian Cardo. Well, turns and goes out of bounds to the dunk, will not count. In the lane now, spins out off the front rim, doesn't get it. Got to look for options now. Got to get something better going, but 
With a minute 15, it's about pride left in the game. What are they going to play for? Well, dishes off, goes up, gets fouled, and now he'll shoot two free throws with 106 to go here in the fourth quarter. Kicks it in the corner now. It's a 36-point lead. Goes baseline with the finger on miss it, but the tip back is put away. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I mean simply, San Lorenzo de Magro have been fantastic from the group stage till now. And I think it's fair to say when these 30 seconds are up. They will book their ticket. They got one more game to go tomorrow. That's against Guaro Solara. And that will be a big game to say the least. Because that will be the final game of this group. And that could be what we see as a final game here in Liga Dos Americas. So make sure you come tomorrow night to watch that. Guaro Solara, they'll take on San Lorenzo de Magro. Well, for City Los Animas and Capitan Arecibo. It's been a good season for them. A lot to think about. But that is as it stands. Well, we thank you for joining us here in Buenos Aires, ladies and gentlemen, because at the end of this one, it is San Lorenzo de Magro 92, Capitanis Arecibo 62. It is all over here. We'll see you tomorrow night for the final games here in the semifinal stage.